Observing the boldness of Peter and John and perceiving them to be uneducated, ordinary men, the leaders, elders, and scribes were amazed, and they recognized them as the companions of Jesus. Then when they saw the man who had been cured standing there with them, they could say nothing in reply. So they ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin and conferred with one another, saying, What are we to do with these men? Everyone living in Jerusalem knows that a remarkable sign was done through them, and we cannot deny it. But so that it may not be spread any further among the people, let us give them a stern warning never again to speak to anyone in this name. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, Whether it is right in the sight of God, for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judges. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them, on account of the people who were all praising God for what had happened. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Though the Lord has indeed chastised me, yet he has not delivered me to death. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and have been my Savior. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Christians, to the Paschal Victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw, wayfaring. The tomb of Christ, who is living. The glory of Jesus' resurrection, bright angels attesting. The shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ my hope is arisen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, victor king, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. 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 This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia. Alleluia. When Jesus had risen, early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. She went and told his companions who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them walking along on their way to the country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, we're all about sharing engaging content that you won't want to miss. So, if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like, share, and comment below to support us. Your interaction not only helps our channel grow but also tells us what content you love to see. Thanks for stopping by, and we hope you subscribe and join our community. God bless you always.